kitchen. I heard y'all. I heard you. I heard you. I heard you. You guys have been asking for this lemon velvet pound cake. So that's what we're doing today. Lemon velvet coming right up. We will be using three cups of my Swan's Down cake flour. So in here, I have three cups of Swan's Down cake flour. I have one, a half, a half teaspoon of baking powder and a fourth of a teaspoon of salt. Three cups of flour, half teaspoon of baking powder, one fourth teaspoon of salt. Swan's Down comes pre-sifted for you in the box already. But once I add the baking powder and the salt, I like to sift it one more time at least. I think this one I sifted two or three times for no reason at all. I just wanted to. And y'all, that's real talk. I didn't, I didn't have a reason. I just wanted to sift a couple more times. So that's what I did. All right. Then we have one cup of whole buttermilk. It is room temperature. I have three cups of granulated sugar here. We have five large eggs that are also room temperature. I've already cracked them. Five large eggs, room temperature. We have three sticks of unsalted butter and they too are room temperature. I'm going to use so as to not compromise my color. Y'all know I want the vibrant yellow color. Just like with my other cakes, y'all, that pink color was so pretty. That vibrant pink. Thank you to all of you that said that you really enjoyed the first pink cake I did that was in honor of Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Um, it was like a dusty pink, a dusty rose, an ashy pink, a dingy pink, whatever you want to call it. It wasn't pink enough for me. But I appreciate you all. Y'all are so supportive. Um, but that vibrant pink that I did the other day, it was so vibrant and pretty. Several of you said something about it giving Barbie vibes as well, too. Okay? <laughs> so, anyway, I digress. So it won't compromise my vibrant yellow. I'm going to use my chocolate flavored oil that I get from Kitchen Cake Magic. I hope some of you are coming to my shop with me and meet and greet at the Kitchen Cake Magic in Winston-Salem. I know some of you have reached out, told me that you're coming and it was very impromptu. I'll have to share how it came about. Um, but for those of you that can come, I cannot wait to meet you. Even my dude, number one, you we're just excited. We're just excited. So in any event, um, if you're watching this video, if you decide to make a comment, leave me a green heart or some green hearts to let me know that you're coming. We're trying. There's no way I can kind of gauge who all is coming. Um, I really have no idea if it's going to be, you know, a few of you, several of you, a lot of you, a whole bunch of y'all. I don't know. If you happen to see this video and you're coming, give me some green hearts to let me know. That'll kind of maybe give me a little idea. But anyway, you guys, this chocolate flavor oil is where I get it from the Kitchen Cake Magic along with my cream bouquet. I just want, since this cream, cream bouquet has like a like a citrusy undertone. I'm going to use a little bit of my cream bouquet. Bakery in a bottle. That's all I know to tell you. That's what it tastes like. Bakery in a bottle. I love it. Some people don't care for it. But hey. Whatever you like. But since this is my cake. We're using some cream bouquet today. I get this from Kitchen Cake Magic. You guys. I've gotten this Laura Ann Bakery Emulsion. From. It's a. Um, lemon Bakery. Emulsion. I got this too from Kitchen Cake Magic. You guys, I don't think I've ever used this. I'm going to use it today. So, again, speaking of Kitchen Cake Magic, you guys, it's going to be fun. We're going to be doing some giveaways. Hint, hint, we're going to be doing some giveaways. <laughs> so, I am so, I'm so excited. All right. Also from Kitchen Cake Magic. <laughs> My Ameri Color, I had the egg yellow. You guys, I got this, I think, the last time 
we were on a field trip. I just started picking up different colors since I knew I was going to be hitting y'all in the head with these velvet cakes. And you guys keep coming up with all these colors. So we're doing this egg yellow today. I'm excited. Oh, I, I cannot wait to meet some of you, you all. I am so serious. This is just, uh, I'm excited. Okay. So let's see. Is that everything? If by chance I've forgotten something, you guys, um, the ingredients are always listed in the description box below, along with the information about this mixture that I use, y'all. And this ain't sponsored. I bought this mixer with my own money. Listen, this one free. I purchased this because I needed another mixer when mine decided to conk out on me a couple of years ago. So I also did a video about um, like a review. Ooh, a review on this mixer. Um, that's one thing I do like about it. You see the shield will come off. But I, I have a video that I did a review on this mixer. Um, hopefully I won't forget. I'll, I will link that video too at the end or somewhere in this video. If you wanted to look at that, um, is that everything? My oven is preheating to 325 degrees. And it should be ready. I think it's already ready. I cannot wait to see this pretty yellow color. Because it's going to be vibrant too. Of course, I have thoroughly washed my hands. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands. Because that's just nasty. Alright. Okay. So this is stick number two of butter. I want to say I feel like I'm forgetting something, but maybe it's just because I've stopped sitting like the sugar bag and all that kind of stuff and the baking powder can. And maybe because I've stopped sitting that stuff on the counter, it just, I said, I'm going to quit doing all this advertising for these people. I need to stop advertising swans down too. <laughs> but anyway, y'all, it's just, it's just what I use. So this is stick number three. Okay. And what I like to do um, is add my extracts and any type of flavoring I'm going to use. I like to add it in the very beginning of the mixing process. That way, it's thoroughly mixed. Any type of extracts or emulsions that I use will be incorporated throughout the entire mixing process. I used to add it towards the end when I was adding the milk, but I just, you know... One of my, I, I tell her, she's a real pound cake queen. But when she shared with me about adding my extracts and stuff at the beginning, I've been doing it ever since, okay? We're going to add about a teaspoon of this lemon emulsion. And you guys, you know I love flavor. Um, I'm going to taste it at some point, taste my batter, to see if I have enough flavor. And if I don't, I'm going to add some more. Y'all already know. We're going to add a little bit of my cream bouquet. And then, and before I forget you guys, once we start mixing up, I'm going to start adding my color too. Now this is my chocolate oil. I'm going to start with, let me see, that's one draw of oil, two, three, four, we're going to do five, okay? If I feel like I need or want some more, I'll add some more of that too. That's one thing I love about baking. As long as you get your measurements right. Because you know there's a science to baking. So some, you know, you've got to have the measurements right. But as it pertains to flavors and extracts and emulsions, make your cake like you want to make it, okay? I'm just trying to give you all a foundation. And then, you know, somewhere to start. And then that way, you know, y'all can just kind of do, do what you want to do because it's your cake, honey. As long as it tastes good. Now, if it don't taste good, then we got a problem. But as long as it tastes good, then that's all that matters because, honey, like I say, it's your cake. So this is my cake. This is what we're doing today. So I'm going to start mixing up. All of my butter and extracts, my oil, my chocolate oil. 
I'm going to mix it up just a few seconds by itself. And then you'll see me start slowly adding these this three cups of these three cups of sugar. Now once I get all the sugar added, I'm going to turn on my microwave and set a timer for 10 minutes because I'm going to cream this butter and sugar for 10 minutes. All right? You do not want mm, Excuse me. You do not want to rush this process. I'm going to cream for 10 minutes. Um, I usually cream on high, so this mixture is set on about seven and a half. I cream on medium high, not high, medium high. So this mixture is set on about seven and a half or eight. Now what's going to happen is that I'll have to stop because I don't have a scraper in this mixer. So I'll have to stop and scrape down the sides of my bowl because what you'll notice is the butter and sugar will start collecting on the sides of my bowl. Which means if it's up here, it's not down in the bowl getting properly creamed. Okay? So we're going to scrape it down a couple of times. And actually, once we get totally mixed up, I'm going to stop. And I'll show you what light and fluffy should look like. Again, you don't want to rush this process because it can affect the outcome of your cake. Have you ever seen cakes where the inside of the cakes look like they're like gummy and gooey and kind of not done? Oftentimes, that comes because the butter and sugar was not properly creamed. Okay, so take your time. Don't rush this process. And again, I'm going to come back. I'll show you what light and fluffy looks like. And then, um, don't forget, I'm also going to go on and add my yellow during this process as well. It's been 10 minutes. We are light and fluffy. Now, honey, when this says egg yellow, this is really egg yellow. It almost has a hue of orange. I don't know if it's showing up on camera. I was intentionally, you already know, heavy handed with the color because, look at that, egg yellow. <laughs> I was intentionally handy heavy, handy heavy. Listen, lady, heavy handed with the yellow, the color, because once I start adding that flower, it's going to lighten it up some. But that, this is honey, this is egg yellow for real. So, we're light and fluffy, so vibrant and pretty. Y'all, I just love these vibrant colors. Like, I, I don't want a little bit of yellow. Or a hint of yellow or a hint of blue or a hint of purple. I don't want it. Yellow like bam in your face yellow. <laughs> That's obvious. Okay. So now we've creamed our butter and sugar. It's time to start adding our eggs. And we're going to add them one at a time. And once I add an egg, that yolk will break up. I don't necessarily wait for it to totally disappear in the batter before I add the next egg, okay? So I'll just mix it for a few seconds after that yolk breaks up until I get all five eggs added. Then it's time to start alternating and adding our flour and buttermilk. You always want to start with the flour, 
the dry ingredients and you want to end with flour the dry ingredients okay so I'll start with flour then add a little bit of buttermilk then go back to the flour now when it's time to start this part y'all it doesn't take nearly as long as the creaming of the butter and the sugar it only takes a couple of minutes to add this flour and um, buttermilk now what happens is I think this is the area of mixing up a cake that a lot of people overdo okay it's so easy to over mix at this point and then you cause your cake to fall or also be gummy but I think it's mainly because of the over mixing now when you get to this part when I get to this part you're gonna notice I'm gonna turn this mixer down it's imperative that you mix on low when you start adding your flour and your buttermilk so I'm gonna turn this mixer down on about two again you will notice that once I get through adding the eggs all right so once we get through getting this cake mixed up, we'll be ready to get it poured, um, get it in the oven. Is that all I want to tell you guys? I think that's all I want to tell you guys. I think that's it. Okay. All right. Let's keep mixing so we can get this cake done. are definitely yellow honey Now I'm going to go around the sides and up under the bottom to make sure everything is thoroughly 
mixed in. Taste it and see if I can taste any of the chocolate. Maybe just barely. I did add another another teaspoon of the emulsion. Because I like for my cakes to have flavor. I don't like for you to have to think so hard about, okay, let me see, what is it, what is it? In the meantime, I thoroughly sprayed my cake pan with Baker's Joy. This is my Stoneware Pampered Chef pan I've had forever. I think the longer you use it, the better it cooks. The worse it looks, though, you can tell it's being used, but that's what stoneware does. Okay? So, um, yeah. So I added a little bit more chocolate. So I think I did about seven draws in all. And then two teaspoons of the emulsion. The lemon emulsion. Oh, this is pretty, y'all. Look. They're pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. Pretty. This looks like sunshine. I found sunshine on a cloudy day. When it's cold outside, I have a month of me. I guess you say this is pretty. What can make me feel this way? Not my girl, but my guy. My guy. My guy. Talking about my guy. Dude number one. <laughs> okay. I'm just trying to get this better smooth. Y'all, my famous trying to be Lello. Lello, Lello, Lello. Okay. All right. So the batter is even. It's so pretty. Can't hit this but so hard because this is stone. This is a rock. I'm trying to release the air bubbles. I bake in the middle of my oven so I put my cakes. Whew. I adjust my racks to where at least one of them is in the middle of my oven. That's where I bake. We're setting this timer for an hour and 15 minutes. The last one didn't bake quite that long, but in any event, I will let you know exactly how long it baked once I take it out. But we're going to start with an hour and 15. Okay, y'all, this one was different in that I don't know why it had to cook for like an hour and 25 minutes. So again, baking time is going to depend on your oven. I did end up covering up covering it up with a piece of foil because you know I didn't want it browning too much, but I don't know what's up with this yellow cake, but that's what we're looking like. So we're gonna cool for 10 minutes before we flip.
All right, we are going to work on a quick cream cheese glaze. So we're starting with a little bit of my Philadelphia cream cheese, probably about an ounce of it. Yeah, I just, I just love a cream cheese glaze. I do, I do, I do. And we're gonna keep it thick. And I don't, I don't measure. I don't usually measure when I do. Um, my glazes, I do them by hand because to me it's just quicker. And then I don't have to worry about trying to wash up a hand mixer or anything after mixing it up. I like to put the cream cheese in first and just kind of get it smushed up. In an effort to try to give you guys measurements, we're going to do at least maybe about a cup and a half, two cups of powdered sugar. I like a thick glaze and even when I'm mixing my glaze up I like to have it thick in the beginning um, that way it helps me get it smooth and then if it's it's definitely gonna be too thick I'll thin it out just a little bit more I also like using my creamers in my glazes for my French vanilla I would say start with maybe two or three tablespoons to be on the safe side. Mix it a little bit. You don't want to add too much in the beginning because once you get it in, you can't get it out. And then you'll have to add more powdered sugar to compensate for adding too much of the liquid. And you guys, I think we're going to do, I think I want this one to be yellow like the cake. I think we're going to do yellow on yellow. So I had a little bit of my, the same yellow that I used in the cake. I have it turned upside down because I put a couple of drops of, who don't want to get this all on my fingers if it gets to coming out. Okay. Um, ooh. I put a couple of drops of water in here. So I can try to get it all out. Y'all see that it's really yellow. That's how the babies say yellow when they can't pronounce the, the Y. Instead of yellow, they say yellow. Ooh, so just that quick, we have a glaze, okay? Now the cake is still pretty warm. So we're going to let this cool, let the cake continue to cool before we um, add our glaze. Y'all see how quick, oh wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I haven't added any flavoring. I have the yellow. Um, I want a little bit of my cream bouquet and my glaze. I don't think I want, you know, it has a citrusy undertone, but I want just a little bit of that in there. I'm not going to add any lemon in it, okay? Y'all know do no more. He gonna see yell and automatically think lemon. So it's gonna taste lemony just because. <laughs> just cause he see the yellow color. But a little cream bouquet and then cream cheese. And we are good. Y'all that is so pretty. Okay. Okie dokie. So we'll continue to cool before we add. Before we. Ooh. Before we glaze the cake.
looks so velvety. He's not in here so I can taste it before he comes in. Let's see. Get my pretty fork. Get my pretty fork, y'all. Let's see. That's good, y'all. Oh. And then the glaze is just tops it. We have the yellow on yellow. Ooh. Let me tell you something. I love a cream cheese glaze. That's yellow. That's a big bird cake. A big bird cake, okay. Big bird. Hey, everybody. Let's eat. Let me try How y'all doing? Mmm. Is this is orange? Orange yellow? Not orange you know what? Yellow. It looks like um tang. It looks like tang. It's it's an um what you call it? Egg yellow. Really? Mm-hmm. Y'all this pretty. It's yeah, I love you. I know. I've been sweating these cakes, baby. I really do. I'm beginning to think that makes a difference. I think I need to open it up a little bit more. It's a yellow velvet. Open it up a little bit more so that means good, I need to do another slice. What's the what's what's the flavor? You asking me? Uh-huh. What flavor do you taste? You've been doing good, baby. Don't get it after that. What kind of pound cake does it taste like? Good one. Hey. You don't taste the flavor? Maybe I should have used more. You're not tasting the flavor? Hey, you did so good the other day when you got the raspberry flavor. I'm not always on top of my game. Do you not taste any lemon? Yeah, kind of. It's not real strong. Right. Okay, I did two teaspoons of the lemon emulsion. Maybe I should have done a little more. I was trying not to do too much since I had never done it before, but it should have been more prevalent. What flavor are we going for? Lemon. It's a lemon. I added it. I've never used an emulsion before, which is different than an extract, and I didn't want to use too much, but I did do two teaspoons of it, so I guess I needed to do more because you should have been able to tell that right off the bat. In my opinion, but it's still pretty. That's pretty, y'all. It's pretty. And it is. It's so orangey. Orangey. It's so yellow. It almost does kind of have an orange tint. That's yellow, though. I wish I could really? find something. Mm -hmm. What yellow is this? If you think egg yolk. If you think about an egg yolk, that's what it's, that. it's an egg yolk yellow. That. Yeah. It's definitely egg yolk. Or like you said, Big Bird. That's good. Okay, you guys. Well, listen. It's been a long day today. Because today I also... Ooh. I have something else in the oven, y'all. That's coming out. Stay tuned. That's coming up next. Okay. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. And hitting the... Nosy. And that's turning on that notification bell. That way you'll be notified. Whenever we're over here doing whatever it is we're doing, okay? That's pretty cool. That's pretty. Yes, I think all of them have been pretty, except that little dusty pink one, but y'all like it, so that's all that matters. That's pretty. All right, you guys, thank you all so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye.